All right, homies, bringing you another Photoshop tutorial video. I'm going to show you how to add a more realistic tattoo onto somebody. Uh, how to put a more realistic tattoo onto a person so you can put it onto anybody you want to. So basically all you have to do is get the image that you're looking for. Uh, and of course, just take it off of here pull it to a side, grab the marquee tool, make sure it's completely selected on this side of the screen, do whatever you can, control all works just fine, go to the move uh, tool and drag your image onto the person you want to. You can now get rid of this and to start with go back to the marquee tool and we want to basically change this to the size but before we do that you want to change the opacity so you can basically see the arm more than to the tattoo. Make sure you can still see the tattoo, but the arm is what matters most right now. From here, you can right click on here, go to free transform, and you can rotate it however you want, whatever you think fits. More or less, you want the tattoo to be about the size of the arm, and if not, you can more or less fix it in a moment. Okay, so I have my rose in place, very simple. Uh, from here, you want to more or less bend the tattoo so it looks like it goes with the arm. I'm not too good at this, um, very little practice with this, but it was right click right there and click warp, by the way. Uh, from here, you just more or less move the tattoo so it looks a little bit more accurate to the arm. Just give me one moment. Alright, I didn't do too much to it. Like I said, I'm not really too much of an expert on it. But uh, this is all you do. Um, I know if you're doing it, it feels like it looks bad. It doesn't. Uh, stick through it until the end, and then you can decide whether or not it looks that bad. So from here, we're going to use a tool that we've been using before, the multiply uh, option. So uh, if you guys don't know what that is, you guys want to go see that in another video, go ahead. I'll leave it up somewhere on the screen. But uh, all you have to do is right-click. And of course you can, oops, sorry, you're supposed to apply this first, so apply this transformation, say yes. Uh, you know, you can go right click, blend options, whatever you can to get in here, multiply. And you got rid of, of course, the white of the background, which now your tattoo looks very faded. Uh, of course, just pull up the opacity to more or less what makes it look right. Of course, no opacity makes it look very faded, very dull, not really something realistic too much. Um, it might give it more or less a realistic look. It might be a little too much to people, so maybe something a bit more pleasant. Uh, you can add shaders to it. Um, I couldn't quite figure out how to do all too much of that. Maybe later in the future we can figure that out. But uh, this looks pretty decent as is. I'm, I liked it. Hope you guys enjoyed. If this uh, tutorial is one that you like, because this is one of my favorites, I would honestly give this video a like for myself. Uh, please leave a like down below, subscribe for more, and if you're new to the channel, hope you guys are liking this new content. If you guys are missing some of the uh, gaming videos, let me know. I'll do something like that. I'm not sure what you guys want to see though. But, hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like down below, subscribe for more, leave a comment on uh, what else you guys want to see. Thanks again. Peace.